Hey, welcome back. Andre, I do a lot of sneaker and fashion content, or at least I try to, even though I don't upload too consistently. But today I'll be showing you what the Gore-Tex Jordan 1 in the light bone colorway looks like with a bunch of different fits. And really quick on this colorway of the Gore-Tex Jordan 1s, I think this might be possibly the most underrated sneaker of 2021. What? Okay, so that might be a pretty big and bold statement, but for myself, I even ended up selling my Seafoam Jordan 1s just because these are so good on feet. And I kind of found that out just recording this video and throwing on what I thought would look good with this shoe. And it turns out a lot of things look good with this shoe. So pants and sneakers, uh, I'll try to give you as many looks as I can with pants that kind of fit my style. And hopefully they help you decide if these sneakers are for you or not. And the rest of the fit up top that I show you, it's totally up to you, but this is just my personal style. And as always, I'm 5'6", 135 pounds. I wear mostly a small in oversized pieces, but a medium in normal fitting pieces. And for pants, I wear a 29-30 to a 30-30. Oh, fit check? Oh, okay. Uh, vintage Boeing hat in a nice all drab on head. 2006 Timberland nylon full zip. Uh, nice sail colorway on the lining. Navy in and olive drab. And yeah, that is the fit torso up. I need to do so much editing. All right. All right, so these first fits, uh, straight pants with dad jeans and workwear pants. You got the dad fit on the left, workwear on the right, and straight leg pants, I think, overall. It's a classic fit, and they go well with any Jordan 1 because it's a classic sneaker. And whether you're a bigger person or you just like a looser, comfier fit, straight leg pants are just a nice classic style. And here I have them in a versatile wash blue for the denim and medium gray for the double knees. And of course, easy to wear colors always helps you out in the long run. And so let's get into this first fit more. So fit one, dad jeans, heavy with the dad vibes in this fit. Really easy to pull off the dad style jeans with a heather gray sweater. And the entire fit is paired with just some white socks. So I think very key, uh, white socks, it's a small detail that I always go with. Black socks to me are just way too contrasting and I usually avoid black socks at all costs, no matter what sneakers I'm wearing. Black socks, they just kind of remind me of bad dress socks. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Gold Toe, I guess. So anyways, uh, the Sail Gore-Tex ones, they pair really nicely with the Heather Gray here. And on this pair, I think the black contrasting swoosh is probably my favorite color detail on the sneaker itself. It just helps the swoosh stand out really boldly. We got a black Patagonia hat, and I think that kind of does the same for the fit. Add some contrast to the light Heather Gray of the sweater. Same thing of what the black swoosh is doing with the light gray tones on the sneaker itself. So just to sum it up, nice neutral gray, uh, sharp black color contrast on the details. I think overall it's a winning combination. All right, and back to the workwear fit. Really baggy overall uh, with neutral shones in the khaki of the jacket and the gray of the pants. And same contrasting details with the black swoosh on the sneakers and kind of the black beanie up top. And so covering the Gore-Tex ones in this case, it's kind of cool. Uh, it's back to that kind of, if you know, you know vibe for the kicks. You're not just blatantly showing off the sneakers that you have on feet, but covered, I think they look really nicely overall, just pretty subtle, but you can still see the gray tones and the swoosh poking out. And when they're covered by straight pants, like in this case, they almost look like Dior ones on feet, or at least like a low budget takedown of the Dior ones. But honestly, that's a really good point for this sneaker. It has basically the same color scheme as the Dior ones, but just subtly different, of course, with Gore-Tex. So it looks like a takedown model if you want to look at it through that perspective, through kind of that luxury Dior Jordan 1 perspective and what the sneaker looks like and what it is. But honestly, for everyday wear, these are just a really nice pair of sneakers because they're so neutral and they have really nice details. And last one for straight pants, just some off-white uh, strip pants from Oakenfort again. And I think this really shows the versatility of the Gore-Tex Jordan ones, just how they can work with really light pants as well. And this is pretty much as light as you can get other than full on white pants. And for me, uh, off-white pants are just a nice balance between uh, a bit of color on the lighter side, but nothing that is just completely white that is super easy to get dirty. But yeah, uh, I think it works well with off-white pants, especially if you contrast it with something darker up top as well. So again, just following the same color gradient and theme of the sneakers. 
All right, so up next, we're moving on to slim pants. We got smart pants on the left and wash black denim on the right. And both of these, super classic. It's easy to pair pants that look amazing with a sneaker, especially if they're more slim fitting. And that pairs well really with my body type. And so I like styling these cuffs slightly just so that you show a bit of sock on top of the sneaker. And I think, again, showing that bit of white sock, just a nice detail to really elevate any fit. And you also get to show off the entire sneaker. So focusing on this one, the smart casual fit, the statement here is obviously that plaid shirt workwear jacket. I love the detail on the chest with the brand tag, kind of like a vintage name tag, and definitely playing with more gray tones here overall on the fit. So dark gray on the tee, dark khaki on the hat, and of course, uh, sneakers play the same tones in that sale gray and bone. So all the pieces here really toe the line between formal, smart, and casual. And that's what I really love about this one, just how versatile it is. It's clean, it's classic, it's smart, and casual all at the same time. And for pants, of course, these are the Uniqlo Smart Pants, cuffed right above the Gore-Tex ones. Always clean, cuffed, smart pants, aka slacks, uh, above Jordan ones, you really just can't go wrong. And like I mentioned, stick with the white socks for that cohesive detail. All right, this next one, casual smart. I don't know how to describe this one, but definitely more casual here with the nice brushed cotton shirt in a subtle brown. And quick note on brushed cotton shirts, I love these. They're just a really nice way to tone down the formal silhouette of dress shirts. They look very casual, but they give you a more refined look at the same time. And white tee under here, just always a clean touch. And of course, khaki hat up top to pair with the brown with another nice earth tone. So everything here is more casual than smart, but definitely, again, still elevated with that brushed cotton collared shirt to give you that refined look. So with the wash black denim, these are again in a slim fit. These are just cuffed above the ones. And for this pair of jeans specifically, I cut the hem on this pair of the leg openings just to make it more casual and give it a nice worn look at the bottom with loose threads. Yeah, it's just... With this pair of sneakers, it's really easy to dress down because Jordan 1s, again, you can wear it with something that's more refined, like a pair of socks in the previous fit, but you can also wear it with raggedy, worn, washed denim as well. So, uh, last detail for this fit, pair this with a shoulder bag, and I think you're fully fitted. Forest green on the strap here, I think pairs really nicely with the earth tones, and the khaki detail goes nicely just to round it all out. And when you feel like your fit is just too boring, I think you can just toss on any complimentary bag and you're pretty much good to go in terms of details. All right, the one fit with actual skinny jeans, throw back to the 2010s. As for pants, you really can't go wrong with dark denim that fits nicely, even if they're skinnies and they're kind of not the trendy item to have anymore. As long as you cuff them cleanly over a pair of Jordan 1s, it's, it's really hard to mess up. But here with the fit, um, again, just one of the hardest jackets I had to wear, it's this oversized white twill jacket from Oakenfort. But I think the best ways I found to pair this with are brown pants or dark denim in this case. And it just kind of helps you rock this really bright piece up top pretty cohesively with whatever you pick on the bottom. So again, brown pants or dark denim. And up top, a brown short cuff beanie just helps as an analogous tone to the off-white jacket. And Overall, I think the Gore-Tex 1s in that light bone colorway just complements really nicely with the jacket. And here, uh, again, like I said, cohesive bag to pair out the fit. Going with the black Supreme utility tote in this case, just again, for more contrast because overall, the big color palette of this case is white or off-white. And the black contrasting bag just adds a nice hit of contrast. Just again, similar to the great design of the colorway on this pair of sneakers, the black swoosh contrasting with the white background. So onto some very casual vibes, we have some classic gray sweats in a swim fit, and these are tapered a little bit at the bottom. And these are my old sweats, and the quick hack that I pulled on these is to cut the jogger cuff off at the bottom, just because I really prefer uh, a more rugged look for the hem, and also I like it when my pants are a three quarters fit, just to show a bit of sock with minimal effort. So here, basic white tee with a fisherman beanie, small detail with the bracelets, Super casual, this is almost kind of an athleisure vibe, almost a Rocky Balboa vibe, like you're going for a jog. And pairing this one with a cream tote with a nice big graphic on it, again, I think pulls everything together uh, in terms of a nice accessory to have. Both for the use case of a tote bag and for pulling the outlet together, uh, it's a win-win. 
you can carry some random stuff that you have. You don't have to buy plastic bags and you also look kind of cool. Swapped out the fisherman beanie for a brown beanie just because the hoodie is in a nice tan color. And this is just a Essentials Fear God hoodie that is pretty played out now. But honestly, or what they are, just an, a literal Essentials piece, pretty nice. Overall for the fit, just nice and tonal, super casual, and just better prepared for cooler weather. And talking about these ones, honestly, uh, I feel like I just keep repeating myself. It reminds me of my white Oreo video for the Jordan 4s. They just go with everything. I mean, neutral colors with enough contrast on the details. There's really nothing much else to say, but hopefully this video kind of convinces you of that, that they go well with so many different fits. And onto something a little different, uh, sweats and a leather jacket. So dressing up the sweats and the sneakers a little bit more with that faux leather jacket and accenting that with a black cap on top as well. And toss on the technical backpack in this case and everything just kind of comes together. Um, the backpack pairs nicely in a dark gray with the faux leather jacket and the sweats. It looks functional. Um, the technical details on the backpack just add another nice interest point to this. And of course, it also helps you bring all your stuff around depending on what you're doing. And this is the last fit with the same gray sweats, but man, I really don't think that that many sneakers you can dress down and dress up that easily with a pair of gray sweats. But man, shout out to the Gore-Tex Jordan 1s in this colorway, the light bone, for being so versatile. All right, and last section here, we are on to shorts. Uh, two fits of shorts just to kind of show you how they look. And in my opinion, Pretty damn good, so I think this will be a go-to pair of sneakers for me in the summer as well. And starting off here, uh, on the left, athleisure, and on the right, more refined, but still super casual. Starting with athleisure, uh, these are just some two-in-one shorts from Bayleaf on Amazon. Super lightweight, probably just as good as Lululemon shorts, and they give you an athletic style, and with a nicer tee, like in this case, which is an Arizm Uniqlo oversized tee, uh, rather than a workout tee, you're totally capable of going out and about in these shorts. Uh, it gives you that gym look, but it's not quite a full workout outfit. So you can still kind of wear this on the streets without looking like you just came from the gym. At least that's my hot take on it. And finishing with something that's more refined and super casual, uh, just some chino shorts and khaki from Urban Outfitters. And these are just an essential pair of shorts that everyone kind of needs in their wardrobe. Uh, super easy to wear. Uh, not super interesting, but also you can't look terrible in shorts like these. So these are just a staple. I've definitely had mine since I think around the end of college. And toss on a black tee or any color tee that you would like. And honestly, you're good to go with this pair of Jordans. Again, I just feel like this is one of the most underrated releases this year. And I would highly recommend you to not sleep. So prices are super low right now. and. Well, super low for resale as always, but as you saw, super, super, super easy to wear. Um, I think just one of the cleanest pairs of sneakers that you can get right now. So I want to say, especially if you don't want to cough up change for the Alma Manier Jordan 1s, these are just a really great pair of Jordan 1s that you can get. If you don't really care about the hype, the collaboration, any storytelling, and you're just looking for a clean pair of Jordan 1s to get and wear year round, I think this is a really great option. So highly recommend these. Um, these will be heavy in my rotation, I think, just throughout the year. So yeah, that's it. Jordan 1 Gore-Tex in the light bone colorway, uh, fitted with tons of styles on the bottom, different looks up top, and with headwear as well for all your inclusive research needs, if you're looking to buy this pair. So thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And hey, Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite style of pants or what your favorite fit was with these that I had. And if you're picking these up, let me know as well because I really think that these are being slept on right now and I just highly recommend these. So uh, anyways, this is fun to make and thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.